Scorpio and Scorpio are a volcanic match. They uh, produce or create a, a combustible, exciting, deeply feeling, deeply sexual pairing. Each of them is a sign that goes very deeply into its feelings. For a Scorpio, the act of sex is not just physical. It is very spiritual, it's an emotional bonding, it's a, a, a connection of energies and, and is felt on a very deep level. Scorpio tends to be very voluptuous in its emotions, uh, very giving once it feels safe, and also very possessive. Now, each of them can use this. In other words, Scorpios being so alike, they can give what they themselves desire. Uh, Scorpio desires a relationship in which it, it is safe, in which the other person is loyal and devoted and gives them the uh, intense bonding that each needs. But the problem here is that once the sex is explored to its fullest, they then have to get into the personality, into the uh, deeper issues in a Scorpio uh, character. And that issue has to do with control. A Scorpio feels deeply vulnerable. And as a result, it wants to control its environment, its relationships, control other people, control everything so that it remains safe. And in a relationship that is not always possible because the other doesn't want to be controlled. Scorpio won't be controlled by another and yet here we have two Scorpios trying to control each other. So the picture is a little bit like two scorpions. If you can imagine these creatures who are, uh, who feel that they have to be the aggressor and be the one who stings so that they remain safe. And so that concept in a way of two scorpions locked in a bottle are what two Scorpios are like as they get deeper into the relationship. It can work for a while and if by some magic, let's say, they can get along in other areas, it can work also as a, a marriage or a friendship. But the chances are that the Scorpio is going to be much too controlling and much too strong for the other to take orders.